Now at five, police are investigating another threat against a Jewish institution in Providence. And like the one at the Jewish Community Center last month, this morning's threat against the Jewish Community Day School came amidst a wave of threats in several other states. Eyewitness News reporter Rosie Woods joins us live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the new details tonight. That's right now. The students have gone home for the day, but police are still investigating this threat that came in that left the school in lockdown. Providence police are investigating this evening after an unknown male called the Jewish Community Day School Tuesday morning, saying there was a shooter on the roof of the building. Police determined there was no evidence of a shooter, but the Public Safety Commissioner and Mayor tell us this recent increase in anti-Semitic acts will not be tolerated. Unfortunately, we're getting more and more of these calls, both locally and nationally, targeting the Jewish community, and, you know, that's unfortunate. These folks are sick. These folks are sick. It's, it's hate-filled. Um, it's, uh, it's rooted in discrimination. There's no room for it here. Just two days ago, a gathering was held in Providence at the Holocaust Memorial, speaking out against other acts of anti-Semitism here in Rhode Island. A gathering the mayor says was not in vain. There's no way that we're, gonna, we're going to allow this to become normalized and accepting. Uh, we're going to speak out and stand out against it whenever it happens and do everything that we can to root it out. Now, police did increase patrols here at the school today, but the head of this Jewish elementary school tells us that he will not let this threat affect his students going forward. Hear his message coming up new at 6. Live at the Mobile Newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News. Providence police are investigating after threats were called into the Jewish Community Day School. Teachers and students were inside the building when the call came in, and police are commending the staff for how they handled the situation. And new at 6, Rosie Woods is talking to the headmaster about how this ordeal has affected the school and its students. Rosie joins us now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. That's right. It's just been hours since the school received a threatening phone call, but we are speaking to the headmaster who says he's not going to let this act affect his students. It's a, it's a, it's a messed up time. Uh, in the country and and uh, and it's hard to be Jewish at this time. Just hours after the Jewish Community Day School was forced into lockdown because of a phoned in threat of a shooter on the roof, Adam Tylove, the head of the school, is speaking out. Our student center school, a school that focuses on children are working rigorously and at the same time like finding joy and pleasure in the learning and in being Jewish and none of that's going to uh, change because of this. It was just after 9 o'clock Tuesday morning when an unknown male called the Jewish elementary school saying there was a shooter on the roof of the building. Police later determined there was no evidence of a shooter, but the threat is still leaving a mark on the school employees. I think everyone's a little bit, a little bit shaken and a little bit like worried about what's going on um, and yet um, we trust the police. We, we know they've been here. They've seen the building. They've been on the roof. They've been all over the place. We feel completely secure about about the safety of our school. And although some of the adults are still shaken, Tylove tells us he will use this unfortunate experience to teach these children about compassion. There are many, many, many thousands of people who uh, support us uh, and take care of us and are there for us. Uh, and that's that would be a message that I would share with the children, and that's, that's the message that I would like to come out of this, is a feeling of, of, of strength. As of now, police are still investigating, but they say if they can't identify the caller, they will prosecute. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.